Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Bio Omega and Iran. So in the last episode we had a field day and eliminated a large amount of enemies uh, in Kuwait City. And today we're gonna try to do, well, in this or the next episode, the same thing with the Man. Our forces have already moved uh, south and they're doing a pretty good job at fighting here, though... Well, honestly, I don't think we have much of a problem. I don't see any major forces anywhere that our defensive uh, positions couldn't handle. So we can just continue with the strategy. Now, we'll take you guys, the entire RGC force, and we'll put you over here with a Wargo... Oh, I probably already did that in the last episode and I forgot. Okay, never mind. We'll just do it again. And what about our Western and Eastern army? Okay, they're already attacking here, but trying to get as wide gap here as possible so that we can then attack Hafuf and encircle Daman. We'll see how that's gonna go. Uh, no, I don't want you to join the wars because that's a terrible idea. I have to wait for this, and I have enough army experience now, but I cannot remember if I was saving it for something or not. I think I wasn't. I think we got this from the last battle. So let's uh, spend it on the doctrine of ad hoc. Oh no, I remember now. No, we were saving it for the officer corps. We wanted to get a, one of these. Yeah, aggressive reconnaissance. That would help us with the tactics. Okay, so let's unpause. Uh, give it a day and see how it's gonna go. Our attack here is going amazingly well. So they're gonna be broken very soon. Kuwait has capitulated. No kidding. <laughs> There's nothing left of Kuwait, to be quite honest, to capitulate. We've taken it all. Okay, I should give me some love. Okay, Kazakhstan can provide us with more resources here, and Russia can provide us with more here. But I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be enough. Yeah, we'll see. This ought to do it. How's the situation with the bombing going? Still bad, but I wonder if... Yep, we definitely reduced the amount of enemies here significantly now that Kuwait has fallen. And we're destroying more of them, though we have a massive deficit. If we could... I think we're at war with Dubai. On... Yeah, okay, so we need to destroy um, the United Arab Emirates as well. There's probably another airfield... Here in, yeah, there's one in Qatar and one in Bahrain, which we are both at war with. So the more airfields we take, the less aircraft they can send into our proper territory and bomb us, which is what we're trying to stop here. Okay, so you go. Okay, I'm actually evacuating that area, I don't know why. Wow, we can. We have an open way to Riyadh here. Kind of find it hard to believe. Okay, repel this attack. Okay, we can't really support this attack. But I think we're gonna take these three provinces immediately because there's no point in waiting. So, repel this. Uh, you're gonna attack here. You guys are gonna support this. And you're taking Riyadh. Ace pilot promoted. Okay, not me. No. Yeah, let's move the border like this. Let's move this border like this, because we will leave this to the foreign force. Yep, these two areas are falling as well. 
It's kind of funny that they're reinforcing here, but leaving Riyadh unprotected. I kind of hate the fact that it's all falling to Iraq, but whatever. You know, that's an ally, so could be worse. Could be worse. Yep, and then we're reinforcing that. Okay, so Riyadh has fallen. Which means Saudi Arabia. Well, wow. wow. Okay, only twenty-four percent. So Riyadh has ten victory points. I uh, expect Medina. Okay, Medina has five. Tabuk has five. Mecca has five. You have five. Really? Wow. Turns out that was really the first first place that had any value for us. I'm kind of shocked. Okay, what the attack you that is without any issues. But I would like to block you as well. Okay, we need to push this way because this this will actually let us get more units here. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just one unit. Can't travel support. Well, I mean, I get it. Okay, so you're gone. You can attack over here and can... Can anyone of you support this? No. Well, but this is gonna be enough either way. Damn, Americans are back. Okay, military satellite research. So this one gives us a bonus satellites. And we want to military technology push. Okay, gives bonus to rockets. What is a rocket if not an oversized missile? In that same train of thought, we must develop modern rocket technology. To ensure the success of launch missions and to ensure the safety of the crew, though we will also be reaping the military benefit of such an advance. Okay, so you guys are literally doing nothing here. So the moment they move there, we attack. This is working fine. Yeah. So the encirclement here is going to be pretty good. Constellus Latin at home. Okay, how about we attack here and just push them out? That's going to be super easy. And it's gonna mean that we break them even faster. Come on, break them. Okay. So you guys can go there. You guys can help here. Should further extend the border here. Okay. So, uh, we are sh short on some things, we get too many other things, as is usual when it comes to trade in this game. Russia, come on, don't, don't do this to me. We really need that tungsten. It's not tungsten, it's technology metals, but you get the point. Yeah, well, 
move is actually pretty good. And what the hell is going on here? Is the goddamn American division here screwing us over? As it turns out. Okay, well, an attack from here could ideally push them from Holuf to Daman. That would be the best outcome here. But I'm not gonna wait for it. You guys are ready. So the attack here is gonna be swift and decisive. Same as the destruction of our f hope and dreams. So why have you guys finished? You're building double one class and I'm building one Kahir and you get two slots. So let me upgrade you guys to Snap, we have the possibility to further upgrade it. So the car class, what are we upgrading? Okay, we're upgrading the Intash missiles and the engine. Wait, auto design? No. And if it goes, goes up a bit. So it's called R3. And you guys are going to be upgraded to the R3. I really wonder how much that's going to cost because that is a significant upgrade. Uh, 25,000. So about 12,500, 13,000 per ship. But look at those bonuses. That arrow goes down a bit though. And HP does as well. So that's fuel usage though. Wow. Okay. And what again? Okay, let me see what those upgrades are gonna entail because that's gonna change the need for construction quite a lot. Wait, what am I doing? Production, yeah. Oh, you're already there. Okay. This is rally for Congolese democracy. <laughs> okay, you guys give me what I want, and I'll give you a factory instead. Okay, so we managed to get here. This one is interesting. Really. Confused that we're not able to do this one, but but fine. Jesus, the American division is way better than ours. Okay, well they're already attacking us here. You know what I could do. I could attack over here. Damn. Okay. Exceeding combat will no supply country. Oh wow, they cannot retreat from here. There's a desert down there. Oh hell yeah. That's amazing, we're walking them in here. Okay, they managed to take this area. Hmm. Uh, we need more divisions in here. Okay, this is starting to look much better. 
Okay. So, uh, we researched the PAIC2 satellite. Now let's go with PAIC3. Improved communication satellite. Okay, we're winning here. We're definitely winning here. Okay, I'll send you guys to this attack as well because that's gonna extend the battle line. Further increase the damage we're doing. And we'll be fine. Actually, you guys can retreat. I forgot about this. You can retreat to the United Arab Emirates. Okay, but they're retreating into Qatar instead. Okay, I'll, I'll still take it. There's a massive amount of units in the north that are gonna deal with. So, okay, so we managed to take this. Yeah, the line is extended pretty significant though, which is really nice. Uh, the naval supremacy, they got... Yeah, way too many. Way too many over there. Okay, but the amount of enemy aircraft has went down again. At least that's the good news. We're approaching 3 trillion in depth. How amazing is that? Okay, take Hofuf. Quickly. The last American division will retreat to Alvakra. Uh, which is bad, but not as bad as you might think. Backdoor access to Saudi Arabia has been. Kurdistan needs to join the war. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, now our goal is the elimination over here. Okay, you can join this attack, get more of the special forces in there. Yep, so the elimination over there is happening. Okay, you guys can actually attack here, I think. Which will make... Oh, those are mountains! Okay, yeah, we're not gonna screw with mountains over here. Okay, it will have revoked. Um, the revoke. I think. What? How did they revoke? I didn't read that. Sorry, I'm so zoomed out on the combat that I haven't checked. But I think not aligned. So did they trigger that Article 50, or did they revoke the Article 50? I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I've already eliminated a number of units over there. You can join this attack. Yeah, they're going to UAE. I think that after we deal with um, Bahrain and Qatar, I'm gonna take down Saudi Arabia so that these areas are also secure, and then we're gonna go after United Arab Emirates. Because we want to take them down first. How about you? Okay, I'll just take you guys. And see if we can attack Al Bakr. I believe we should be able to. Do we get. Nope, we don't get any penalties at all. That's really nice. And these guys are also not encircled because they are retreating to Bahrain. Okay, well. What can you do? It's 
needs a living. Okay, so we can actually attack here and help with this. We're gonna be fighting along our friends from Iraq. Iraqis are madmans. Just going out of their way of the situation to win <laughs> win an attack, even if their chances are just abysmal. Okay, Cyber Special Forces. Initiating Cyber Training for Special Forces allows them to gain great intel. Good. So the next one is at 2030. So we won't be getting that one. Uh, this one we could get, but I don't think so. This one we could get, but I don't think so. This is still way ahead of time. Way ahead of time. Okay, well, we spoke about it a couple of times. So let's get attack submarine hull. The silent killer of the world oceans, these undersea warfare platforms incorporate a range of useful abilities, including stealth, intelligence gathering, and weapon systems. Designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions, these area denial specialists are a cornerstone of any navy. The attack submarines uh, are a combination of missile class submarines intended to hit target far and abroad. Huh. But the last sentence didn't make much sense. Well, I get it. Okay, well, they can free the reinforce uh, from Manama, so it's not exactly going according to plan. And the attack against al is also not going so well. <laughs> okay, but Iraqi and Russians are advancing into Saudi Arabia and there is no tomorrow. So, we are fine. Actually, we have a low supply country. Whoever is attacking your ass. How long exceeded uh, their bonus that they got from planning? Okay, when do we finish? An upgrade, okay. So I can upgrade two more cruisers. Okay. 8,000, that's fine. We just keep modernizing them. Okay, this is... Actually not going so well. But the moment we break this attack, we're gonna counter-attack. Come on, the Americans, get out of here. We want to counter-attack. Uh, but Simon, both of our attacks here are unable to continue. For some reason, we are not making any progress. So we'll have to f think about it a bit more. Only one of you can actually join there. So let's extend the battle line so that we work on that advantage we have. Extend it even further. Yeah, 
Yeah, the mountains are not our best friend here. Okay, you know what? Change your plans. We have to. Uh, we have to be a bit more. A bit more aware of what is happening. Okay. So, you guys, gonna go over here. And here. Okay. Gonna go over here. You guys are not gonna be screwing over there. But instead, I'm gonna go over here and have a plan of attack like this. Because we need to be a bit more, a bit more methodical about this. Okay, either way, uh, we've made great progress and we're continuing with it. Mostly happy about the fact that we reduced the enemy operations so much. Uh, we're even building a nuclear reactor in Khuzestan. And yeah, you can see that the bombings have stopped. Pretty much everything is happening and being repaired on its own, which really makes me happy. We're gonna soon get to the rest of the upgrades and then we're gonna start building the fortifications along the coast which will sort of let us brief a bit more of a relief because if they attack we'll be better prepared for it. We've all seen that the American divisions are very dangerous so they might attack at any moment and I need to keep the area secure. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode.